It streams in the desert, and it's hot today. Praise the Lord. <laughs> it's going to be a good one. Ah. In streams in the desert, you know, the thing I've always liked about it is that God has used it to identify a lot of times the common element in all of our suffering together that we have that we share, that oftentimes we forget that others have gone through the same suffering with which we have suffered, and then have recorded at times that into journals and edited them into devotionals that they could share with us the same consolation that they received with which they were comforted. And that's kind of what Streams in the Desert does, but for us in devotional, it also is God speaking to us about what he would have for us today. Let me prove, I pray you, but this once with the fleece, Judges 6.39. There are degrees to faith. At one stage of a Christian experience, we cannot believe unless we have some sign or some great manifestation of feeling. We feel our fleece, like Gideon, and if it is wet, we are willing to trust God. This may be true faith, but it is imperfect. It always looks for feeling or some token besides the word of God. It marks quite an advance in faith when we trust God without feelings. It is blessed to believe without having any emotion. There is a third stage of faith which even transcends that of Gideon and his fleece. The first phase of faith believes when there are favorable emotions. The second believes when there is absence of feeling. But this third form of faith believes God and his word when circumstances, emotions, appearances, people, and human reason all urge to the contrary. Paul exercised his faith in Acts 27, 20 and 25 when he said, And when neither sun nor stars in many days appeared and no small tempest lay on us, all hope that we should be saved was then taken away. Notwithstanding all this, Paul said, Wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer, for I believe God that it shall be even as it was told me. May God give us faith to fully trust his word, do everything else witness the other way. A lot of times it is hard to, frankly, trust when everything seems to be going the opposite way. Sometimes it's hard to believe when faith seems to have flown the coop and all you can do is just cling to what God has said. But there is a time where you just simply say, oh well, so what? And go on with God, irregardless of what you feel, what you see, what you know, and just trust that in the end, he'll take you through it. Because the previous experiences always set you up for what you know to be true today, that you can go forward in confidence. And you don't have to panic or worry of what might occur or what reasons you might have to doubt but you know based upon what you've already experienced with God because of your daily devotions and your devotionals and your Bible study and your your experiencing God on a day-to-day -day basis that you can step out and walk in a positive direction with him because he's taken you through all those previous times where you were learning to know that he loves you and once you know that, hey, the rest is a piece of cake.